black beans bitter gourd with pork ribs. Pressure cooked. Heat up two to three tablespoons of oil. It can be coconut oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, but I like to use pork lard the most. Prepare your three cloves of minced garlic. Put it in, stir it a little. It might burn a bit if you have a high fire. If you look at the bottom left, um, my fire knob is right there. So you can see exactly how I adjust the temperature throughout the cooking process. So if it burns a little, it's fine. Just turn out the heat a, a bit. It's okay. So don't worry about it. Let us just try to brown both sides so that it kind of absorb the flavor of the garlic to let the meat taste better. The reason why I take such a long video is that um, when you're cooking, uh, you can just let the video play along so that you do not have to pause and play and pause and play. So that's what I usually do when I cook. But if I'm going to record it this way, it's going to be a bit longer. So bear with me. Um, if you do not like this way of um, video, just leave a comment down below so that I would be able to kind of tune the way in which my users are going to use. So thank you in advance. So right now you can see that the pork ribs are a little bit cooked. So what we need is for the pork ribs to get a little bit brown before we add in the seasonings and also the water. Let's get ready, 2-3 to three tablespoons of soya sauce. If you like it a little bit darker, you can use dark soya sauce. But I'm using light soya sauce in this recipe. If you like food that is saltier, add another tablespoon of light soya sauce. Now it's time to get ready your fermented black beans. Put about two to three tablespoons of fermented black beans. We'll be adding more later when we add the bitter gourd, but right now it's just to add to the pork ribs so that the pork ribs can actually absorb the flavor of the black beans. If you feel that it's too dry, you can add a bit of oil. Prepare two cups of water as we will be filling it up so that we can cover the pork ribs. Mm -hmm. 
once the water starts to bubble, you might want to turn down the heat a little and it's time to cover the pressure cooker lid so as to let it cook. You can cook up to 20 to 30 minutes for the first time. And while it is cooking, it is time to cut the bitter gourd. So what I'm showing you is a video of how I cut half the bitter gourd. For this recipe, I'll be using the whole bitter gourd. If you find that you do not like the bitterness of this bitter gourd, so what you can do is to soak it in salt water for about 10 minutes to remove some of the bitterness. But for me, I like it bitter, so I will not be soaking it in salt water. You can cut it in any way that you want, but I will like it in a thicker slice such that it will not be too soft after I do the pressure cooking for the second time. If you choose not to do pressure cooking for the second time, um, you can cut it into thinner slices and just heat it up for about 15 minutes uh, with the open lid and then it will be ready. But usually if it is a pork ribs, I would tend to cook twice so as to achieve the softness in the texture that I want. After you are done with um, cutting the bitter gourd, it's time to check on the pork. So remove the lid and check that the softness is about what you want to achieve but it's still not as soft as you want because we're going to do a second um, pressure cooking. So what we're going to do now is just to test the texture of the pork ribs to ensure that it is 80% soft so I'm going to heat it up and I'm going to get ready my bitter gourd to put in Okay, right now it's ready to add in the bitter gourd. After you have added in, give it a little stir. Ensure that all the bitter gourd is soaked in the water. You may add one more teaspoon of soya sauce at this point if you find that it is not salty enough and you can also add a tablespoon of the fermented black beans if you like it a bit stronger usually at the start of the cooking i will not add too much because it's easier to add more at the end uh, rather than just adding everything in the front where it gets too salty or it gets too strong. So that is how I manage and to adjust the taste at the end of the dish. I'm gonna just pressure cook a second time. Okay, it should be ready now. The pork has been the pressure cooked for two times. And on the second time, we added the bitter gourd. So everything will be just at the nice texture that we want. So this is black beans bitter gourd with pork ribs. Pressure cooked. And if you can see from the picture, look at how soft the pork ribs are. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.